I love fire alarm systems and construction aids. It does not bother me at all. Um, and, and I tell people all the time, there's just, there's a concern of false alarms and there's, there's, there's all these different kinds of things. You can, there, you can do a lot to make sure that the fire alarm system stays active. It doesn't have to be an alarm signal. You can convert that smoke detector to a supervisory signal device instead and have a escalation process internally set up uh, with the facilities team or with the operators that are monitoring it, what, however the structure is, to, hey, this smoke detector is going off. Let's go check it out. And then it's just an added layer of protection there. I also, when, when handled properly, we don't have false alarm issues. Uh, if you cover it during the day when you're doing your construction activities, doing at, putting up drywall, causing all this dust, you make sure that the dust is settled, you vacuum off the detectors, and then you remove it. We are monitoring it at nighttime. And that's always my concern is, is our fire alarm system is our first level of defense. It's what's going to tell us the absolute fastest if we have a potential fire situation. So at nighttime is when I particularly want to be monitoring it, not when there's 50 contractors walking the area.